And we welcome you to Salem High School Gymnasium. Stan Stevens here, along with our crew doing the video part. On our video stream right here is the Salem Tigers take on the Liberty Lady Eagles. And this is gonna be a very difficult game as the Eagles are a very, very talented team. The JV earlier tonight for the, uh, the Lady Eagles defeated the Salem JV by a score of 53 to 12. So these are very, very talented young ladies and they can uh, do a tremendous job uh, on the floor. They're deep, they got a very good team. The Salem Tigers will have their work cut out for them tonight in this first of two SCA games this week. Both of them at home as they take on Mountain Grove on Thursday. But tonight it's the Lady Eagles of Mountain View. And uh, they will be starting tonight. Kenna Woolsey at guard, along with her sister Abby Woolsey. They also have Reagan Wells. She'll be in a forward position. Sydney Lefevers. She wears number 22. And then uh, Lila Corman also at forward tonight. So there you go, and uh, see what happens tonight. The Lady Eagles are dressed in their navy blue uniforms with the red numbers and the white trim belt, and the white in the Liberty uh, signage on the front. Salem Tigers in their home whites with the Carolina blue trim and numbers here at home. Starting lineup for the Salem Tigers, it will be Bella Jadwin, Savannah Manthe, also Ashton Bowers, Tatum Hatridge, and wrapping it all up will be Avery Irway. A little prayer before the game here at center court. As we get ready to get underway here, I do want to tell you the Southwest Baptist University campus in Salem provides quality higher education close to home for the residents of Dent County and the surrounding areas. If you have any questions about admitting, getting admitted to Southwest Baptist University or admissions, feel free to contact Chris Welch at 729-7071. And don't forget Cal Malone, American Family Insurance can handle all your insurance needs with a simple phone call. Call them at 729-5165 or stop by 1104A South Main Street. It's American Family Insurance. The tip goes the Eagles way as getting it back was Wells in the corner. It goes across to Reagan Wells. She'll put up a three trying to bank it in. It doesn't go and Hathridge brings it down. Really high arcing shot by Wells. Long pass intended for Avery Irway, but it's over her head. The first turnover of the game belongs to the Salem Tigers. We played 16 seconds, had a missed shot and a turnover. Tell you what kind of game it might be. Sydney Lefevers gets it in. Salem with a little bit of a press. You know, coming down is Keno Woolsey. Woolsey gets it out to sister Abby Woolsey in the paint. Jump shot blocked there by Irway. Brought down by Jadwin. Jadwin down the middle of the floor. Gets it into the offensive zone. And Manthe all alone takes a long three. It's good. Savannah Manthe with a college three right there. And Salem goes up by a tray. With that ball, it's Reagan Wells. Wells gets down the middle of the floor to Woolsey. Her three-pointer, it's too hard. And it goes out of bounds. And they'll say it was not touched by a Salem Tiger. Thought it might have grazed the hand of Tatum Hatridge as it went out of bounds, but it did not. Got the inbound to Jadwin. Right on her is Abby Woolsey. It's three, one against three. And Jadwin beats the three, flips it down low. Getting in there is Bowers trying to lay it up. She is fouled by Lefevers, and she'll go to the line to shoot too. So Ashton Bowers will go to the line. 6.55 to go first quarter. Don't forget Duncan Family Chiropractic at 401 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard can handle all your chiropractic needs. See Dr. Amber and talk to her about Juice Plus to keep yourself healthy. Dr. Amber Duncan, 729-2321, a proud supporter of your Salem Tigers at 401 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard. First one by Bowers, no good. Second one on its way, and this one does splash home. There's a 4 nothing Salem Tiger lead. Reagan Wells with it, getting back to Co uh, Coleman, who brings it down the left side. Trying to get to the paint, bounce pass intended, I believe, for Lefevers, but it was deflected away, I believe, by Tatum Hatridge. The ball goes out of bounds. Bowers checks out. Now Shelby Botkin checks back in. Fever's trying to get it in. Does quickly down all alone is Wells underneath the basket and she lays it home. Full court press right now. 
by Liberty, but Salem beats it. Here comes Jadwin down three on one. Jadwin shot blocked there, ball comes in the air, taken down by Coleman. Coleman flips it out, stolen there by Manthe. Manthe looking for help, gets it back to Jadwin. Cross it goes to Hattridge. Hattridge in the corner. Botkin takes a long two. It's too hard. Comes down the other side and taken down and uh, collected there by Woolsey. Woolsey for Mountain View. All the way down to the paint to the hole. Backs in. Stops. Walks with it but no call and scores. Abby Woolsey took two steps in the paint. They didn't call it. And she scores to tie the game at 4-4. And a foul called on Lefevre's. As Sydney reached in. Well, a pretty obvious walk, and the officials didn't call, and you hate to see that early on in the game. But you hope they don't change things. If they do, then you really don't know where you stand in the game. So that's a that's a tough call to make. Jadwin out to Hattridge. Hattridge trying to get inside to Botkin. Botkin kicks it outside to Manthe for another three-pointer, and it's good. Six, a 7-4 Salem Tiger lead. As Lefevre brings it up, almost walks with it, now fires it across to Wells. Reagan Wells back to Lefevre's. Lefevre's in the corner, Woolsey. Woolsey trying to dance her way in, stops, goes outside, trying to find a little running room. There's Wells, and the jump shot won't go. Brought down by Botkin. But Botkin turns it over to Kamen as she scores. And a timeout call by Coach Reardon after seeing that turnover. Tigers down with two of them and two steals. As Cayman scores, Lila Cayman to make it a 7-6 Salem Tiger lead. We'll come back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. And don't forget Jake Conway, Concrete and Excavation LLC you can do your foundation and concrete work. Jake has a mini excavator and skid steer, so give him a call, 247-4174. Jake Conway, Concrete and Excavation LLC, a proud supporter of your Salem Tigers. 16-14 our score. Salem Tigers have the ball in the inbound as Manthe has the left side pass to Bowers. Bowers trying to dance her way in. Kent goes back out on top. Here's Hattridge. Hattridge all the way down off the glass. Count it. Tatum Hattridge just worked her way down slowly as Woolsey will try and move it down the floor. Woolsey down the right side. Woolsey trying to flip the ball, taken, uh, tipped away by Jadwin, but taken back down by Kenna Woolsey. Stolen there by the Tigers. Taken to the hole as Bauer. She scores and count the basket and draws the foul. After the steal by the Lady Tigers, they get the basket and the foul. And Bowers to the line to shoot the free throw. A foul called on Abby Woolsey. Ashton, one of two for the strike, makes that one. 21-14 our score. Salem with the lead here in the second quarter, just underway. Pass intended for number four, Kenna Woolsey. She brought it down as it was tipped by Manthe, but as she did, she fell out of bounds. Salem Tigers. With only two team fouls, Mountain View with six. So Salem will be in the bonus the rest of the way if Mountain View should draw another foul. Pass to Manthe, beyond three, trying to dance in. Can't. Bounce pass to Jadwin. Jadwin works her way down low off the glass. Count it. Nice play by Bella Jadwin. 23-14, Tigers up. As coming the other way is Kelts. Kelts trying to get inside to Coleman. Coleman down low off the glass. It won't go. Brought down by Avery Irway. Long pass down to Jadwin. Jadwin stops. Underneath it goes to Irway off the glass. It's good. And the Tiger lead is 11. Woolsey getting it over to Kelts. She'll bring it into the offensive zone. A long pass tipped away. Here comes Jadwin on the steal. Jadwin the layup. Yes. Timeout called by Coach Ernst as the Salem Tigers have gone. On quite a run to start this second quarter, an 11-0 run, and they lead it 27 to 14. Back in 30 seconds, this is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media.
Don't get real values more than a fair price. It's quality, service, experience, and convenience. That's what you get every time you go to Napa Auto Parts at 604 Scenic Earth Boulevard East here in Salem. Drop on by and see them or call 729-4156. Napa Auto Parts, locally owned since 1946. As Woolsey brings it down, she has Wells with her, gives it to her. Wells to Woolsey going in the corners. Kelts back to Woolsey. Open for the three, takes it, and it does not go. Wells will bring down that rebound in the corner. Wells back to Woolsey, trying to go to the paint, to the hole, scoops it up, it won't fall. Brought down by Manthe. Manthe down the right wing. Manthe stops, goes right side to Jadwin. Jadwin a long three, it bounces off the backboard, high in the air, and brought down and controlled there by Lexi Samport. Now Wolsey with her, or Wells with her three, but it's again way off to the right. Now a long pass to Bowers. Bowers has it, lays it up, and good. Tigers off the rebound. Score again, 29-14, as Wolsey comes across the timeline. Nicoleman turns at the free throw line, kicks it outside to Wells for the three, and it is off the rim. Comes down into the hands of Kelts. Kelts flips it back outside to Wells. Trying to go inside, does. Trying to bank it in. It won't go, brought down by Irway. Irway to Manthe, underneath it goes to Bauer, she scores! 31-14, again the Tigers on a heck of a roll of 15 points here. Woolsey, looking inside goes to Wells, now back to Kelts. Kelts in the corner to Bree Daniels. Daniels trying to go baseline, bounce it off her foot. Trying to go in the middle of the floor, out to Wells. Wells all the way across the floor. It hits her foot, falling on by the Tigers, and possession arrow will favor Mountain View. 4.55 to go in the second quarter. All Salem so far, 15-0 run. There's a long way to go in this one. As Bree Daniels will try and get it in. Out to Woolsey. Woolsey hanging on to it, guarded by Botkin. Moving across that perimeter line, goes all the way across the court, left side, back to Daniels, back to Woolsey. Woolsey trying to take it to the hole, does, and foul on the floor en route. And the foul is on Shelby Botgan. The inbound comes out, and ball gets away from Woolsey, but she's able to track it back down. Now Woolsey trying to go inside, does, flips it up, missed it wide to the right side, and Savannah Manthe pulls down that rebound, down to Jadwin, she lays it up and in. Bella Jadwin has six, and the Tiger lead goes to 19. Woolsey left side pass, and Savannah Manthe read it and tipped it out of bounds. Last year, Mountain View just hammered Salem at their location. And another timeout called by Coach Ernst with the Salem Tigers leading it 33-14. We'll come back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger Basketball. You're listening to it and watching it on KSMO Media. to go in the half. Don't forget your friends at Progressive Ozark Bank, a community-focused financial organization, can help you with all of your financial needs. Stop on by and see them for personal business and wealth management. They're in Salem at 729-4146 or 904 West Scenic Earth Boulevard. Progressive Ozark Bank member FDIC and equal housing lender. With the ball now is Macy Tharp. Goes out on top. Tharp's first action of this game. Guarded there by Tatum Hadridge, who takes the ball promptly out of her hands, gives it off to Manthe. Manthe to the paint, stop nine footer trying to bank it in. It's too hard. Comes down to Woolsey on the back side. Woolsey the other way. Abby trying to dance down low, can't stops trying to bank it in as she does. Abby Woolsey breaks the string of 19 straight points by the Salem Tigers. It's a 33 16 game. Manthe hanging on to it. Between the circles, Savannah backs out. Looks right, looks left. Goes to Botkin on the right side. Shelby trying to go down low, hands it off there to Michaela Roos. Salem running a little clock here. Back to Botkin. Botkin goes to Hattridge right at the top of the key. Gives it back to Savannah Manthe, right side. Guarded there by Woolsey. Manthe 
can't get past Abby Woolsey, so she tries another route, goes to Botkin. Botkin to the middle of the floor, running jumper way too short, taken down by Roos, but then turns it over, and she throws it right to Abby. Here comes Abby Woolsey off the glass, count the bucket, and no foul called on Manthe. 33-18, the last four points scored now by Mountain View after the turnover by Roos. Trying to save it as Botkin pulled up way too short on her shot from inside the paint. Manthe hanging it, hanging it off to Shelby. Shelby Botkin right side pass to Manthe for the three. It's good. She's got 12 all on three pointers and the Tiger lead is 18. As Abby Woolsey brings it down, stops at the top of the key, turns, looks outside, fires it that way. Going back to Woolsey, Woolsey takes the three-pointer and it is good. Nobody out there on, Abby had the time and put a high arcing shot and it comes right through the net. Just big, barely even moved the net. Here's Manthe for Salem. 36-21 lead for Salem Tigers here in this first half. Now to Botkin, her jump shot, it's good. Shelby Botkin has four. 38-21. Woolsey down the right side. Abby goes in that corner. Tharp trying to get it back to Woolsey and does. Woolsey on her way into the paint, trying to get inside, and she'll draw the foul as Faith Kaminsky in the game may have got that foul. And she does. Freshman. 149 to go, and Woolsey to the paint to shoot two. And the first free throw is good. Woolsey now with eight points in this second quarter. She got 12 on the night. Manthe checks out. Another one for Abby Woolsey as she's ready. That one is no good and goes off the hands of Coleman. Belongs to Salem Tigers. Half court defense for Mountain View. They tried to press earlier. Tigers were able to break it and score some easy baskets, but it was a track meet in that first quarter. 16 14 our score. Right now, Jadwin over the timeline. Man to man coverage here by Mountain View. Jadwin just hanging on to it. Clock running down. Down to a minute 25 to go in the half. Now Woolsey will come out to Bella. Goes right side to Roos. Michaela hands the ball away. Just turn that ball right over. Here's Bree Daniels all the way down. Lays it up and in. Little too obvious with that pass. And a good job by Mountain View to read it and steal it and score. 38-24 our score with a minute now exactly to go. Tigers set it up and then when they did, Last time they gave it away. Here's Irway. Irway gets by Bree Daniels. Her shot is too hard and comes down back in the hands of Daniels the other way. Daniels down to Tharp in the corner. Woolsey. Woolsey trying to get away from two Lady Tigers out on top. A three there is off the iron. No good. Brought down by Coleman and she'll be fouled. Fifth team Salem. Fifth team foul. Coach, Coach Reard barking at his girls. Daniels to inbound it as Kenna Woolsey checks back in. Trying to get it to Kenna. And the Tharp in the corner for the three. It won't go. And here's Botkin the other way. Botkin all the way down for the layup. She gets it. Botkin got the rebound and took it coast to coast. Tiger lead is 16 as Woolsey will bring it down. Down to 16 seconds left. Pass left side to Kenna Woolsey. Kenna guarded there by Botkin. Goes back the other way in the corner, Bree Daniels. Now the three is too short. Brought down by Daniels. Daniels taken down, the ball goes off of, like it went off of Coleman, but it, they say it went off the Salem Tigers player last with two seconds left. Daniels will try and get it in. Daniels. Outside to Woolsey, Woolsey to the paint, jump shot, good at the buzzer. The Tigers did nothing to defend Abby Woolsey coming through and allowed a pretty easy basket there on a two-second inbound. And Coach Reardon not very happy about that, but he has to be happy 
about the Tigers scoring 24 points in that second quarter and leading Mountain View by a score of 40 to 26 here at halftime. But he's a realist and he knows we got a lot of basketball to go here in this game. We'll take a two-minute break and come back with stats of the first half when we return. This is Tiger Basketball, and you're listening to it and watching it on KSMO Media. We welcome you back to the Salem High School Gymnasium as the Salem Tigers lead the Mountain View Lady Liberty Eagles by a score of 40 to 26. The Tigers and uh, Mountain View Lady Liberty Eagles were just going back and forth in that first quarter. Three threes by Savannah Manthe gave the Salem Tigers the edge early on, but a good, uh, good run in that second quarter. They came out, got some steals, scored quick baskets, took advantage of some rebounds, and did just some fast breaks, and the Tigers suddenly got out to a 15 to nothing lead in that second quarter, and then ended up scoring 24 points to 12 for Mountain View. They lead it 40 to 26 here at the half. Hey, do want to tell you, Fairground Auto Plaza is giving you a fast, convenient way to find a car. It's called Shop, Click, and Drive. You can check that out at fairgroundgm.com. Fairground Auto Plans are driven to serve you best where Chevy finds new roads. And your town and country insurance associates can handle all your commercial, personal, life, and health insurance. For a quote, call 729-6624. That's your friends at town and country insurance associates. And it's never too early to start your tax planning. Your friends at Taxmasters can help you today. Give them a call, 729-3001, or stop by 510 North Main Street, Taxmasters in Salem. And when that vehicle gets a little ding or ping, or you run into a deer, or maybe a deer runs into you. Larson Collision Center has been serving the area over 30 years, and they do free estimates, and the work is guaranteed. Get in touch with Gary at Larson Collision Center, 729-3915, or stop by 503 North MacArthur. Well, the Salem Tigers being led right now by Savannah Manthe with four threes in this game. She has 12 points, six points for Bella Jadwin, six for Shelby Botkin, and eight for Ashton Bowers, four for Tatum Hattridge, and four for Avery Irway. For the Mountain View Liberty Eagles, it's Abby Woolsey with 14 points. She's carrying the load there for Mountain View, then five points for Reagan Wells, three for Lila Coleman, two for Bree Daniels and Kenna Woolsey in this contest. The Mountain View Lady Liberty Eagles have out-rebounded the Salem Tigers here, though quite drastically in this game, as Abby Woolsey herself has six as she leads everybody. Three for Reagan Wells, one each for Lexi, I'm sorry, one each for uh, Sydney Lefevers, one for Bree Daniels, two for Chloe Kelts, and two for Lila Coleman in this game. So uh, good rebounding for Mountain View in the game, yet the Salem Tigers took advantage of some key rebounds in that second quarter. Leading rebounder for Salem, Avery Irway, she has four. Then three for Shelby Botkin, three for Tatum Hattridge, two for Michaela Roos, two for Savannah Manthe. Salem Tigers were one of two from the free throw line in the first quarter, one of one in the second. They are two for three in the night, while Mountain View three of four in the first quarter, one of two in the second, and they are four of six on the night. Tigers had total four turnovers and four steals in that first quarter. Five turnovers for Mountain View and four steals for them. All the Tiger turnovers were steals by Mountain View. And we are at halftime. Nobody in foul trouble on either team, which is amazing, as they're just going up and down the court, but the officials kind of letting them play. Now, earlier tonight, the JV did lose by a score of 53-12 to 12 to the Mountain View Liberty Lady Eagles. Tomorrow night, the Salem boys will be at Willow Springs to take on the Bears in SCA play. We'll be down there to bring it to you on KSMO Radio only. That's KSMO Radio only. The audio on both KSMO and KSMO Radio. Dot com. We'll take a two and a half minute break and come back here with the second half. Salem 40, Mountain View 26, back in two and a half. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media.
And if you're in the mood for great food, head to Country Mart in the deli. Don't forget they got a 20-piece dark meat chicken for $12.99 and also save on their deli meats and cheeses. It's a great opportunity for you to get your shopping done at a very, very convenient place at Country Mart. Very inexpensive as well. At tcmarkets.com, check them out or call them at 729-3455. Country Mart here in Salem. The third quarter about to begin. They flip it back to Bella Jawin and let's play basketball. Jawin. Right side to Tatum Hattridge. Hattridge trying to dance in, can't. Goes back to Botkin all the way down underneath it to Irway. That shot won't go, brought down by Coleman. Coleman has the ball go out of bounds. It'll still, still belong to Mountain View. Salem in a half court defense. They go into Abby Woolsey. Salem in his zone. Woolsey goes right side, getting it there is Wol her sister, Kenna Woolsey, in the corner. Wells back to Kenna Woolsey all the way across the court. Stolen there by Hattridge. We'll bring it down to Jadwin. Jadwin has the ball knocked away and it goes out of bounds. It stays with the Salem Tigers as Kenna Woolsey couldn't hang on to it. She checks out. Coming in the game is Chloe Kelts. Salem will flip it in. Just underway here in this the third quarter. Salem up by 14. Jadwin. Trying to drive in against Wells. Does all the way down. Kicks it outside to Manthe for the two. It's good. Just a two. From the corner. 42-26. Wells will bring it down off to Woolsey. Woolsey right in the progressive Ozark Bank insignia here at the high school basketball floor. Trying to dance around. Getting it outside is Kelts. Now on top to Woolsey for the three. It's off the iron. Straight up in the air. Tipped. Comes right down into the hands of Kelts. For the easy put back. Here's Jadwin. 42 28 our score. Jadwin right side pass to Hattridge for the three. It's good. Tatum Hattridge had a left handed shot. The timeout called by Coach Reardon with 6.38 to go in this, the third quarter. We'll come back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. Hey, don't forget, if you're looking for insurance, Willie Strader has Denton County covered. Farm, ranch, home, business, farm, real insurance has it all. Call Willie Strader at 729-4941 or drop by 1414 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard. Abby Woolsey will bring it up. We're just underway here in this third quarter, 45-28, Salem with a 17-point lead. Woolsey trying to get away from Botkin. Flips it right side, waiting for it. There's Kelts. Kelts on the perimeter. Back to Woolsey in front of the bench for Mountain View. Gives it off to Wells. And ball loose on the floor, taken there out on top. Trying to dance her way in as Kelts tied up there by Hattridge. And they'll call the possession arrow favoring Mountain View. Hattridge came out, challenged Kelts as she put the ball up in the air. Forced the possession arrow to change over. Inbound by Lefevers comes in. Getting it there is Woolsey. Back to Lefevers. Their shot off the glass is good. Sydney Lefevers makes it 45 28. Bella Jadwin, right side pass to Hattridge. Hattridge trying to get it down low. That ball stolen away by Mountain View. First turnover by Salem. Wells will bring it down the floor. Wells trying to drive in. She falls down. And they're going to call a foul on Salem. She fell down. They did. They called a foul on Bella Jan when she wasn't even near her. She fell down on her own. Oh, well. Can't beat a dead horse. They fire the ball in. Comins put the shot up and in. 45-32. Tiger lead now down to 13. As Hattridge goes in the corner, there's Botkin. Flips it back out to Hattridge across Manthe. Down low to Jawin, trying to get it down low to Irway. Irway bounce pass, trying to get it outside as Hattridge, her short jumper is good. Tatum with five in this third quarter, and the Tiger lead back to 15. Woolsey for Mountain View Liberty, brings it into the paint, trying to dance her way down. John's short jump shot is good. Woolsey threw a bullet up there, and it found the net. 47-34. 
Chadwin just gets over the timeline, taking her time. Looks like Bowers might be out with some ankle issues. With it is Hattridge, Demanty. Now back to Chadwin. Chadwin to Botkin in the corner. Botkin getting tied up, flips it back to Hattridge. Hattridge down low, kicks it outside to Manthe for the three. It's off the iron, straight up in the air. Brought down by Irway, can't get it to go down. And comes down on the four to Jadwin. Jadwin brought it back out. Kicks it to Manthe, back to Jadwin. Three point effort up and good! <laughs> Bella Jadwin hits the three and a Tiger lead back to 16. Woolsey, right between the circles, looks right. Gives it off there to Wells. Reagan Wells hanging on to it, back to Woolsey. Woolsey back to Wells, they play catch in front of their bench. Now Woolsey has it again. Trying to find somebody inside. Flips it outside, two wells in the corner for that three-pointer and it's short. Comes down, taken there by Kelts, back two wells. Wells hanging on to it, trying to spin away, trying to flip it down low, taken there by Manthe. Has Jadwin in front of her. Here's Jadwin for the layup, good. She's got five in this quarter and a couple of turnovers here for Mountain View, 52-34. Woolsey all the way down off the glass, no good. And a foul called on Salem. That will be a shooting foul. She got to that angle. She wasn't going to be able to make an easy shot, that's for sure. And Avery Irway will pick up the foul, and that will be number three on Avery. With Bowers looking out of commission, the Tigers need to maintain this lead. The free throw is good by Woolsey. Now Irway with three fouls. She's going to find herself on the bench. Free throw is made. 52-36, long pass. Down is Michaela Roos, the jumper way too hard. Comes out to Savannah Manthe, her jump shot off the rim, no good. And taken under control by Coleman. Quickly the other way. Woolsey down against Hattridge, a shot too short, brought down there by Michaela Roos. Manthe with 324, getting it off to Hattridge. Her three, short. Comes down back to Woolsey. Tyler, Tigers are not taking any time off the clock here. Woolsey all the way down off the glass and in. And she now got 20 in this game. 52-38 our score. Botkin giving it back to Hattridge. Hattridge across to Banty. Banty hangs on to it. Down to three minutes to go in the third quarter. Set him up by 14. Back Manthe in the corner. There's Roos. Back to Manthe. Across it goes to Hattridge. Open for the three. Takes it. Too short. And it's going to be long to Mountain View. Salem keeps shooting these threes that are coming up way short. And now Mountain View will inbound it with Salem in a half court defense as Hattridge checks out. Jadwin back in. Tigers just keep coughing up opportunities here lately. Got 10, 12 points in this quarter, but they only lead by 14. Woolsey. Fires it down inside. Ball tipped ends up with Coleman and she puts a shot up. It won't go. Ball tipped underneath, brought down, and a jump ball. Possession arrow will favor the Salem Tigers. As Wells and Coleman were fighting for it underneath the basket. Mountain View again dropping back to half court defense as Jadwin started to hustle up the floor and Coach Reardon put the, put the brakes on, slowed it down. 225, left to go third quarter. Jadwin. Trying to get away from Woolsey, goes to Manthe. Back to Jadwin, Jadwin all the way inside. Bounce pass, tended for Roos. Roos ran right past it. Michaela ran right past that ball. She started toward the basket. Bella bounced it at her, and by that time, she'd already made the commitment to go to the basket, and out, out of bounds, the ball went. The other way, here's Kelts for Mountain View. They're in that dark uniform with the red stripe down the side and the white lettering. Kelts trying to throw it to camp as Jadwin picks it off. Jadwin all the way down. Jadwin puts a shot up, no good. Brought down by Manthe, turn around, puts it up. It won't fall. Tigers are rushing things a little bit here. Now Coleman the other way, all the way down. Stops, puts it up and in. Salem's in a big rush. And if a long pass to Jadwin, Jadwin down, shot is up, no good. But a foul called on Mountain View. They're first of this second half. 
It's a 12 point Salem Tiger lead, but they've been just taking some awkward wild shots here on rebounds. 203 to go. Jawin for the first free throw of this second half for the Salem Tigers. They only had three in the first, and the first one, no good. Mountain View down one time by 18 in this game, now down by 12. Sydney Lefevers back in the game. Jadwin's next free throw is no good as well. Tipped and brought down by Woolsey. Tigers don't get anything out of that free throws. Woolsey all the way down, stops, plates up just a rock off the glass, brought down by Kaminsky. Quickly the other way, it's Manthe. Manthe pulls it back, guarded by Woolsey. Out of center court, right side pass. There's Jadwin. Jadwin back to Manthe, now to Botkin. Down low to Kaminsky. Outside it goes, and now bad pass by Roos again, taken there by Woolsey, and she goes up, lays it in, draws the foul. You're gonna foul, you don't let them shoot. Shelby Botkin got there late, reached in after the Woolsey easy layup, but a turnover by Michaela Roos led to that foul and the basket. That's what turnovers can do to you, and it can happen very quickly. Woolsey for another free throw. She's got, she missed it. That ball hit the back of the iron. Looked like it was gonna come out, but it did not. In the hands of Jadwin, she's got it. Down the corner, there's Hattridge. Going to Kaminsky, the shot won't go. And it's brought down and controlled there by Lefevers. 52-42 with 1.15 to go. Lefevers all the way down the offensive zone to Woolsey. Woolsey to the paint, to the hole. The shot's up, no good. Loose on the floor, taken by Jadwin. Jawin the other way, all the way down against Wells off the glass, way too hard. Brought down by Woolsey, that's Kenna Woolsey. And Kenna trying to get away from Jadwin. Throws it in the middle of the floor to Wells. Wells with under a minute. Here's Woolsey going baseline and she'll be fouled there. Salem getting a bit of desperation out there. and They had the lead, but they have played panic stricken here a little bit in this third quarter. The Fever's trying to get it in. Still looking, still looking, fires it, the ball taken and put up and in by Coleman. Down to an eight point Salem Tiger lead. Lots of missed shots in this third quarter by the Salem Tigers and just a lot of just very, very inconsistent play. Pass comes across to Manthe, 38 seconds to go. Manthe goes in the corner to Hattridge. Hattridge hanging on to it, guarded there by Wells. Goes back to Manthe. Manthe gets by Woolsey. Manthe into the paint, stops, pulls it back the other way to Hattridge. 23 seconds left, bounce pass out to Jadwin. Jadwin not being pressured at all. They'll let her take the last shot. Down to 13 seconds. Bella, under 10. Starts the drive, goes outside to Manthe. Manthe back inside to Hattridge. Now to Kaminsky, the short jumper's good. Good job by the Tigers setting that one up as time runs out in this, the third quarter. By the Salem Tigers, they'll have a 54 to 44 lead as we go to the fourth quarter. We'll come back in a minute. This is Tiger basketball, and you're listening to it and watching it on KSMO Media. We're getting ready to start the fourth quarter. Don't forget the Bank of Salem, locally owned community bank since 1883. You can handle all your banking needs. Go on by and see them at either location. 100 West 4th Street, 1001 South Main, and the lobbies are open at the Bank of Salem. Their name says it all. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Kenny, Kenny, Kenna Wesley will get in to big sister Abby, and Abby will bring it into the Salem Tiger Zone. Mountain View down by 10 to get off to Wells, back to Kenna Wesley. Cross to Abby, open for the three, takes it, and it is off the rim, no good. Captured there by Kenna 
Woolsey on the backside. They go back down underneath, getting it there's Coleman. She lays it in. Right on Tigers coming back. Here's Hattridge all the way down off the glass, and it's good. The other way, Woolsey. Woolsey bringing it down. Outside Wells, a long three, no good. Brought down by Coleman. Coleman trying to dance in, can't jump shot, no good. Taken there by Lefevers. Her turnaround jumper's good. Sydney Lefevers with a nice turnaround jumper in Mountain View, down by eight. As Hattridge has it, Hattridge. Right side pass takes the three. It's off the iron, no good, and taken down by Coleman. Long pass to Wells. Wells coming down, the jump shot is good. And just that quickly, it's a six point, two possession Salem Tiger lead. Hattridge with six and a half to go. Long way to go in this one. I told you that back in the first half. Here's Botkin with it. Botkin trying to get away from Lefevers. Now to Jadwin. Jadwin between three girls is fouled there on a reach in. Don't forget the Salem Memorial District Hospital wants to remind you that vaccine is coming for COVID-19. And they've got uh, inf information coming out to you tomorrow. Be able to be able to sign up on their link and we'll find out more information. The Salem Memorial District Hospital, every encounter, every person, every time. Chad wins for shot, no good. Brought down by Lefevers. Back the other way, well. Salem clinging to a six-point lead. The pass behind Coleman. She made a nice play to get it back. Now outside, Wells, it's the three, no good. It goes to Woolsey, and it didn't go either. Now Hadridge on the back side. Hadridge pass down to Savannah Manthe. Manthe with four threes in this game. In the corner to Jadwin. Down to 5.55 to go. Fourth quarter, 56-50, and a push called on Mountain View. Woolsey just pushed over the Tiger player. Well, Abby gets her second, and that is the third on Mountain View. Inbound comes to Hattridge. Hattridge outside Jadwin. To Manti, the three off the rim, no good. Tipped and brought down there by Avery Irway, and a foul called underneath on, I think, Corman. And that will be on Lila Coleman. Fourth team foul, each team with four here in the second half. Chadwin looking to try and get it in, fires it out high to, to Manthe. All across to Botkin, all alone. Botkin to the paints from seven, way too short again. Brought down by Coleman. And you gotta make sure at this stage, if you got a good shot, that was not the best shot Shelby could have taken. All the way down. Here comes Daniels and she called for a travel. I'm sorry, Sydney Lefevers did that travel. Turned the ball over. She came down with a head of steam. But turned the ball over on the travel call. Jadwin will get it to the timeline. 5.23 to go. Now over to Hattridge. Hanging on to it. Hattridge will get it off to Jadwin. Man-to-man -man coverage by Mountain View Liberty. Has been that way most of the night. Now Hattridge inside it goes to Avery Irway. Out to Samantha. Savannah Manthe, inside it goes to Jadwin, all the way down, Jadwin off the glass, it's good. Salem only four points in this fourth quarter, with still 45 to go, Jadwin with the steal. Jadwin by Coleman, turn, spins, can't get the shot off, and the ball knocked out of bounds, belongs to the Salem Tigers. Nice steal by Jadwin, found herself under the basket, couldn't get that ball around the rim, as Jadwin will inbound it, 448 to go. The inbound comes out high to Manthe, across to Botkin. To Jadwin, all alone. They want her to shoot the three, but instead she pulls it out, takes her time, goes the other way to Hattridge. Hattridge, now to Irway. Salem playing, time flying, trying to play a little keep away here as Jadwin gets away from Woolsey. Flips it out to Hattridge. Hattridge. Flips it back to Manthe. 
Gets by Woolsey, Manthe into the paint, stops short jumper, trying to bank it in. It bounces around all over the place. Brought down by Wells. The ball goes out of bounds off the Tiger player. 4.08 to go. This is fourth quarter action here at the Salem High School gym. SCA play between the Tigers and the Lady Eagles. Here's Woolsey coming down quickly. Abby knocked out of bounds by Jalen. They are going to call a foul on that. Wow. Her second foul, fifth on the Salem Tigers. They lead it by eight with 4.03 to go. Wells to inbound it. Wells running out of time, getting it back to Kenna Woolsey, back to Wells, back to Kenna. Look again side, all the way across the court to Abby. Abby Woolsey, the jump shot is up and pinball's out, no good, but came away on the floor to Coleman. Coleman. Now to Abby Woolsey, her jumper, wide, no good, put back up and missed there by Mountain View as the Tigers knock it out of bounds, exactly knocked out of bounds away from Manthe by Wells. It'll belong to Salem Tigers. Botkin will check out. As Roos comes in, long pass to Jawin in the middle of the floor. Three on one, long pass to Michaela. All alone underneath, she scores! 60 to 50, 325 to go. Woolsey, a long pass down to Kenna Woolsey. Back to Wells for the three. It's a too short. Gets her own rebound. Wells getting it to Kenna Woolsey. Down low, ball tipped and stolen away by the Tigers. Here they come again. Here's Jadwin all the way down, lays it up. Missed the layup. And coming down with it is Woolsey. Woolsey then travels with the ball. There's the Salem Tigers come away with it. And the ball on the floor. Timeout was called. Timeout was called. Full timeout by Coach Reardon. We'll take a one minute break and come back. 60 to 50, Salem on top. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. Fourth quarter action, 308 remaining. Mountain View will have the ball and they fire it a bit back in. And here comes Lefevre, stolen away there by Javin on an errant pass. And so the Tigers come up with the ball. Javin pulls up, hanging on to it over to Tatum Hattridge. Hattridge lost the ball and it's tied up. Possession arrow will favor the Salem Tigers with 248 as uh, that ball got away from her. Almost turned that ball over. Salem with a 10 point lead, 60 to 50. Coach Rear would like them to, to kill some clock here. Hattridge has it. Hattridge gets away from the Fevers. Guarded there closely, looking for Jadwin, hands it off to her. Bella lost the ball, gets it on the floor. Ball still tied up. Possession arrows this time is gonna favor Mountain Views. Bella lost the ball while dribbling. That's the third turnover by the Salem Tigers. 2.36 to go. It didn't take off much time. As Wells gets it in to Woolsey. Abby Woolsey at the timeline. Fires it all the way across to Wells. Guarded there by Manthe. Gets it high to the Fevers. Takes the jump shot. It's off the iron. Pinball's in. Sydney Lefevre's got the shooter's roll. And with 2.15 to go. It's an eight-point Salem Tiger lead. Jadwin by one girl, flies it right side to Hattridge. Mountain View with four fouls, Salem with five team fouls. Manthe out between the circles. Time is running down, down to two minutes now left. Manthe flips it outside to Michaela Roos. Roos will hand it off to Hattridge. Hattridge trying to dance all the way down, does, and a blocking. The first they call a block, and then they call a the charge on Hattridge. Can't call them both ways. And it's happened the other night against the boys as well. And that'll turn the ball over. As Hattridge drove the basket, but comes up with a charge. Now the long pass right into the hands 
of the Salem Lady Tigers as Irway steals it away. Another very errant pass, long pass across. Here comes Michaela Roos, the jumper, trickles in, count the pocket, and the foul. Ball hit the front of the rim and trickled over from Michaela, and then she'll go to the line for the third free throw of the Salem Tigers here in this, the second half. Salem two of five from the night, lead it by 10. And Roos's free throw, no good, comes out high, and Coleman brings it down, off to Woolsey. Woolsey, long pass to Sister Kenna, she lays it in. 1.34 to go. Salem still up by 10. Hadridge fires a long pass in the corner. There's Roos. Roos to the paint, stops. Looking for help, back to Jadwin. 1.22 to go. Coach Reardon would prefer time taken off the clock. Jadwin gets a pick, goes down the corner. Hadridge jumper from there, off the rim. No good, but a foul's gonna be called on the Salem Tigers, Michaela Roos, and now turn the ball back over. All right. Shot not needed when you got an eight point lead. Take the time off the clock and this time, Tigers get called for an offensive foul. And that is the seventh foul on Salem. So Wells will go to the line. This is exactly what you don't want to have happen if you're the Tigers. The time will not come off the clock and they will be shooting a one and one. It is an eight-point Salem Tiger lead, but if they hit both, now you're back to a two-possession game. Wells to the line. She has seven points in this game. The free throw is no good and brought down by Hattridge. Now the Tigers really need to take off some time off this clock. Hattridge down, fires it down low. The ball tipped out of bounds by Wells. 104 to go. Salem leading it by eight. Chadwin to inbound it. Getting it to Michaela Roos. Getting back to Hattridge. Hattridge, top of the key back to Roos. Thought about shooting. Goes back to Jadwin. Under a minute to go now. Jadwin away from Kenna Woolsey. Gets a pick. Hands it off to Manthe. 49 seconds. This is what the Tigers coach wants them to do now. Michaela Roos hanging on to it is fouled there by Wells. That's only the six team foul, so there's Salem will inbound him. Eight point lead. 41 seconds to go. The inbound comes to Jadwin on the baseline. Jadwin by Kenna Woolsey. Jawin hanging on to it, and is fouled by Kenna with 40 seconds. That's the shortest one second. And so going to the line will be Bella Jadwin. 1.4 seconds is all that took. Somebody didn't start the clock. So Jadwin will. Shoot a one and one. Bella's first. It's good. She had missed her two previous free throws. Three possession game. She can make it a four possession game with the free throw here. Bella's next one. It's on the way and it is good. Timeout called by Coach Reardon. The Salem 10 point lead, 64 54. We'll come back in 30 seconds. It's Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. Don't forget, Town & Country Bank is a locally owned community bank dedicated to providing personal and business financial solutions. You can stop by either location, 1009 East Scenic Rose Boulevard or 400 West Scenic Rose Boulevard, Town & Country Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. And don't forget, the KH Auto Supply, your Bart City Auto Parts store, does have curbside service. Call them to find out more at 729-6667, offering badly recy battery recycling and testing, custom-made hoses, and more. K&H Auto Supply, family owned since 1981. 
Here's my view of the ball. Wells has it. Wells between the circles. Left side pass to Kenna Woolsey. Kenna hanging on to it. Guarded by Roos. Now to Wells for the three-pointer. It is good. Wells hits the three with 24 seconds left. It's 64-57. With a ball, it's Hattridge. And a foul called on Mountain View. Hadridge to the line, and that's going to be on Lefevre. So they're going to say that's her fourth foul. I had her for three. So Hadridge, who has 11, hits the free throw. Again, making it an eight point Salem Tiger lead. 16 seconds left. This one misses, brought down by Coleman. Coleman, pass out. Getting it there is Lefevre's all the way down. Lefevre's outside, it goes to Kenna Woolsey for a three, it won't go. Put back by Woolsey, and that's Abby Woolsey for the two. And with 4.8 seconds left, Salem has a six point lead and Coach Ernst calls timeout. We'll take a 30 second break and come back with the remainder of this game. You're listening to Tiger Basketball on KSMO Media. Just about six seconds, four, four, four point eight is what they put back on the clock. Left in this one, Salem with a two possession, three point lead. That's two threes that they have to get. They lead it by six. Roos can run the baseline here. She doesn't, she throws it, it's tipped. It goes out of bounds, but no time came off the clock. Players forget they can run the baseline on that inbound, but now the ball went out of bounds. You cannot run the baseline. So Roos will try and get it in, fires it in to Manthe. Manthe trying to get away is fouled. And I believe that was Lefevre's and she'll foul out with 2.8 seconds left. And so Sydney Lefevre's finishes with six points and three rebounds. Chloe Kelts will come in with 2.8 seconds left. And Macy Tharp will come in as well for Lila Coleman. So Mantha, who has 14 on a night, four threes and a two, hits the free throw. And that one pretty well seals the deal. Seven point lead with 2.8 seconds left. She made them both. And the Tigers will go to 3 and 1 in the SCA. They stand there and they let the shot go, and it's good. Nope, no good. They say wave it off by Abby Wolsey. And the Tigers of Salem go to 12 and 7 on the year. And 3 and 1 in the SCA with a 67 to 59 win over the Mountain View Lady Liberty Eagles. We'll come back in three minutes and wrap things up here for the high school gymnasium. This is Tiger Basketball, and you are watching it and listening to it on KSMO Media. You know what? Five and a half minutes, Mike. Got it. Salem Tigers win this one 67 59. As I mentioned, they go to 12 and 7 on the year and 3 and 1 in the SCA. And of course, they'll take on the Mountain Grove Lady Panthers this Thursday night here at home. And we'll be there to bring it to you here on KSMO Media on radio and on streaming live TV. We hope you will get a chance to watch that or be here for the game or listen to it on KSMO Radio tonight. Tigers really won this game in the second quarter when they outscored Mountain View 24 to 14 or 24 to 12, but they started out that second quarter, the 15-0 run, and they were not headed from there. 
Tigers that led the rest of the game all the way through. A little seesaw game in the first quarter where Salem led 16-14, but it was a tight game until that second quarter when they went on that 15-0 run right off the gate in the second quarter and increased that lead to 31-14, and Mountain View never got close to than six points again in the rest of the game. Leading scorer in the game was Abby Woolsey for Mountain View. She finished with 24 points. Reagan Wells had 10, 11 points for Lila Coleman in the game, and uh, six points for Sydney Lefevers, four for Kenna Woolsey, and two for Bree Daniels, uh, and as well two for Chloe Kelts in the game for Mountain View. But the Salem Tigers, Ashton Bowers got uh, injured in that second quarter, and she had a gimpy ankle to begin with, and they had it on ice uh, late in the second quarter. She did not play the rest of the game, but she finished with eight points, key eight points early on in the game. Tigers did have double-digit scoring from Bella Javin, who led the way with 15, 14 for Savannah, I'm sorry, 16 for Savannah Manthe in the game. Uh, she was the leading scorer, and then 12 for Tatum Hattridge. So three girls in double figures to lead the way for the Salem Tigers, and that's they needed every single one of those points down the stretch to get the win. They got a lot of help. Shelby Bodgan had six, four for Avery Irway in the game, and two for Faith Kaminsky. The Tigers finished with a total of 25 rebounds, 37 rebounds for Mountain View in the game. Tigers finished the game with a total of nine turnovers. Mountain View finished with 13 turnovers in the game. Mountain View also had seven steals. Salem finished the game with nine steals in the contest. One girl fouled out, that was Sydney Lefevre. She fouled out with six points in the game. Leading rebounder was Abby Woolsey. She had 13 to nine for Lila Komen, and then four for Chloe Kelts, five for Reagan Wells, three for Sydney Lefevre, two for Kenna Woolsey, and one for Bree Daniels in the game. For Salem, their real leading rebounder was Avery Irway and Tatum Hattridge each had five. Four for Michaela Roos, three for Bella Javwin, Shelby Botkin, and Savannah Manthe, and two for Faith Kaminsky in the game. Tigers, 7 of 11 from the free throw line in the contest, while Mountain View finished the game. 7 of 10, I'm sorry, 7 of 11 in the contest as they went 1 for 4 in that second half. So the Salem Tigers won every quarter except the third quarter. They lost that one by a four. But the big one, that second quarter, when they got out to that 15-0 lead, kind of sealed the deal, and they won this game 67-59. to Earlier tonight, the JV did fall to Mountain View by a score of 53-12. to We got our final score here, Salem Tigers 67, Mountain View 59. Keep it here.